Okay, welcome back. Uh, we are starting a four-part extravaganza here. Um, I didn't realize it was going to be quite this long, but this uh, this next sequence with the tower, it, <laughs> I've got an hour of footage I've been sifting through, and uh, yeah, it's a lot. So, mostly because, you know, it's a lot of fighting, and they're all fights that you don't run away from since they're story battles. But, let's uh, head down to the tower, meet up with our allies here. There's Cess group, but gotta get the treasure. First things first. And, uh, let's write out some stuff I can equip. I don't know. I wish I'd give that to. Uh, well, they all have stuff that's really good already. Oh, this kind of thing's tough. Um, maybe Galdar. I don't know what that stupid talisman is for. I don't think it does anything. So, we'll let Galdar wear that. Um, alright, so what are these guys up to? Yeah, so we're, you know, we're standing right above a cliff with Galleon soldiers positioned down there. And uh, Seth will explain in a few moments that um, Alko's Shadow Mage techniques are keeping them hidden from view. Um, so this is, you know, this is a long sequence coming up. Longer than I remembered. And uh, Alko's going to lay it out for us. We have the garrison here, which is heavily guarded. Um both above and below, and uh, he says heavy fire, it's like a war movie or, or something, um, but yeah, it's true though, I mean, you're going to get hit with a lot of magic from up there, and then you've got these these four towers, which have some kind of uh, mechanism that lets you access the bridge, because right now the bridge has a, uh, a shield on it that some mage has set up, and then after that, uh, you have the, the prison. So they're going to go through the prison. And uh, so it'll be quite... Those three things combined, um, it's a lot. It's some heavy fighting. And this was, you know, from from, yeah, from one perspective, it's it's very helpful in the sense that you um, get a lot of money. Um, if, if, you, if your levels aren't maxed out, then you'll level up. And uh, you get all sorts of items, a lot of stat boosting items in particular. So, I mean, it's, you know, it's a real trial by fire for uh, the players. But it's quite time-consuming. And Seth's plan is to, for each person to uh, attack his individuals, this first wave here. And, um, oh yeah, Turnus and Zala already get along great. And uh, this is mostly me showing off. Um, you know, having fun with event movement and things like that. Because this, this first part is uh, entirely cinematic. Um, but trust me, the majority of this whole adventure here is not cinematic. Um, but maybe for, you know, this medium, you might prefer it was. You're going to be seeing a lot of the battle screen. <laughs> Called her Hoochie. And then she drowned him. And then, yeah, so now they're all turning towards her. And she's just, uh, kicking some serious butt. And, uh, now she's getting hit by the sorcerer. But she has a uh, way to deal with that. It's Griff. He knocks her <laughs> right off. And a lot of soldiers either run away or surrender, too. I mean, it's interesting. Alko, uh, he basically uses his, um, you know, his Shadow Mage powers. He's got a bow and arrow, too, which is a particularly deadly combination when they can't see you and you can shoot arrows at them. So everybody <laughs> runs away, but the one of the sorcerers can see him. And this guy's a jerk. He trashes his oven heritage, so then he shoots him with an arrow. And that's it for that. And uh, next up is Galdar, who is, you know, frying them with his fire magic. And then he uses a blind spell. <laughs> Disgusting cow. <laughs> That's like a Schwarzenegger moment right there. Uh, good for you. And then Zala's out, and she is obviously just merciless. So filled with the rage, she's just going to burn them into little cinders. She's creating this big explosion, and then goodbye. She doesn't let it. She doesn't spare any of them. The Turnus comes out and uses his, uh, his ninja techniques to rough them up, and along with some handy lighting magic. And this guy, the commander, tries to take him on and gets hit with a big old combo, knocked right into the wall. The other guy, then the guys are pretty impressed, so they surrender. Next up is Mina who runs right through the crowd and makes a beeline for the 
the commander before nailing the others with the wind magic. She's very efficient. And then uh, Arius comes down here and offers him a chance to surrender. I'm trying to be nice about it. But they uh, don't respect him. They think he's just a ripoff of Lysander, but he's actually like a clone, just as good as the original. And so that's it for them. And this, then the commander surrenders. Now there's what's left for Seth to do, except go on the roof. And, uh, you know, he does this crazy, like, area attack that now knocks up most of them. Then the sorceress has tried to surrender, but instead he just summons up some of his creatures to, uh, to beat them up. So he is also out for blood. And, uh, I don't know how she, she got the vines to work from that high, but it's all good. And that's, that's the end of that first uh, wave of soldiers. They have been handily defeated. We got a small crowd that has surrendered, and they're all lined up against the wall there. And they're arguing over what to do with them. Seth wants them all executed. But uh, Arya says that, you know, they've already surrendered, and it's just monstrous to kill them after that. So um, they come up with the idea to send them to Boreal yet again. It's got to be a couple dozen soldiers that they've <laughs> sent over there. Um, Dasani's probably sitting there being like, what the hell? Why you guys keep sending me galleon troops to try and, you know, de-brainwash? You know, I got other things I have to do, you know. But, um... <laughs> Seth. So I was wrong for once in my life. Uh, Seth. He's not very mature. Um, but there's going to be lots of, of arguments like that in this, you know, this team-up. So now we're going to uh, cut through the, the garrison here, and there's a lot of fighting. Let's take on the two commanders. Um, and now, I mean, this is, you know, I think probably what took this so long to get through is that we're starting to fight guys with, you know, good stats. I mean, they got a lot of hit points, they're resistant to a lot of stuff. I mean, we're not fighting, like, you know, sadistic crabs anymore. Uh, the, these guys are serious. But, you know, just spam our end game attacks and we can still go through them fairly quickly. And, uh, oh, what is it? Sorcerers. Now, these guys are interesting to fight because they're highly resistant to most of magic, so it's usually best to to go with the, um, the weapons. And it's especially good in this case because, you know, Galdar can get the, the very powerful critical hits. And Arius' sword that he has right now has a, um, chance of instant death. It's like a, I don't know, 10% chance or something. And uh, later on, he gets a sword. I think it's the endgame sword, actually. Sword of Elven Kings, which you may remember. Um, that has an instant death uh, chance. Okay, so now, now we're going up against a whole crowd of scouts, and they want to put Galdar's head in the wall like he's a deer. But instead, they're just going to get fried by the circle of light. <laughs> seen this scene plenty of times. Uh, well, maybe Noah freezes him. Oh no, some of them are hanging in there. Just ought to put the kibosh on that, yep. Alright. So this little magic circle heals us. Now what's this one do? Oh. <laughs> Brings more bad guys. Like we needed that. Um, Alright, so we're going to carve them up again. And I don't know, this is going to test how entertaining this Let's Play really is, because it's a lot of battles. I mean, I hope that, you know, there's enough, like, dialogue and character stuff intertwined with all this to make it uh, still interesting for this format. But, you know, I'm already le max level, you know, and this uh, I don't have the debug mode that we have in Master of the Wind where you can just end battles instantly. That was always handy. But, so I got beat up by them a little bit, so I might as well use the Magic Circle again. At least there's no random encounters. See, this whole area, there's so many, like, scripted battles that there's absolutely no random encounters. And that's, um, that makes it tolerable, I think. And so now we have yet more sorcerers. And it's interesting, because, you know, I'm introducing these galleon units, you know, gradually. And, um, you know, but after, once, by the time you get near the end of the game, you're getting them in all sorts of combinations and, and squads. It's, it's pretty interesting. It, it makes for some tactical... Uh, stuff you can do. And, uh, man, Galdar, those critical hits. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Um, alright, so I think we're wrapping up their section. Oh, no, we got another group of scouts who are kind of, like, soft-shoeing their way over here. But, you know, scouts are the easiest guys. You can fry them with a circle of light, and any that survive will get, you know, wasted by something else. But it looks like Turnus was able to hit them all. 
nice and hard with that one. And then, oh, we go up here. Now we have a, um, let's see, we have a captain, uh, two sorcerers, and two scouts. So let's see. We'll take out the weaker guys with the circle of light, or try to. Throw a griffin here. And then the sword thing should do good damage to the two sorcerers. Yeah. And it shocks them too. That's really good. So it just takes them out of, you know, makes them lose a turn, and the meteor, uh, you know, eats them up. Let's get the hell out of this guy. He threw some sludge at us. Oh my god, anything but that. <laughs> okay, that's it for him. And, uh, alright, I think that's done with that section. Now, we get to play around with, uh, with Seth's guys. And yes, you know, check this out. We got all four of them. Um, we, you know, used Mina briefly before, but now I got everybody. We got Seth. He doesn't even have the thing, which I get. That's a defense buff, I'm just giving that. Alco, and Mina, and Zala. And they all have, they'll lay, all have a little quirk. I mean, Alco's Shadow Mage is, of course, you know, highly specialized. And, um, Zala, the joke with Zala is that she is AI. Um, so you can never choose what she does. So, in other words, nobody tells Zala what to do, not even the player. Um, so that's kind of a funny gag. And, uh,. And everybody else. And Seth has all his summons. And you can summon the, um... There's a gold dragon. That thing looks awesome. Um... You can summon the bosses that, you know, we fought before from him. And you can also summon some additional ones. So, it's pretty cool to, um, you know, be on the other side of this. And we got some money! Seth's got a goofy walk. I think that sprite's a little off. And then, okay, here we go. Scouts are going down hard. Let's see, who should we summon? Um, let's do the Stone Golem. Remember him? I'll just have the rest. Oh yeah, Zala. Okay, I'll try. I can't see how she does. She has a magic wand. That's her weapon. It's kind of like a... You know, it's trained to resist her fire aura there. And uh, she can do all sorts of stuff. That you get the impression that she doesn't really understand how to use it as much. So there's one attack where she just waves it around just haphazardly. And uh, not only does it do serious fire damage, it will lower various stats. So it's a good attack when she chooses to use it. Um, yeah, well, she looks like she's getting pretty eager with it. And we got the gold dragon again. I just love that animation. I remember I made that myself. Not the dragon, I mean, I copied the dragon all from something else, but just, uh, you know, the sequence with lightning coming. Uh, it was a lot of fun to do. Alright, so let's see. You right here. Um. I don't need a key. <laughs> she tries to burn it down. Didn't work. Must be fireproof. Uh, is anyone of these cabinets that we went by? No, it doesn't look like it. In the box? Oh, grenades. We don't need that. Not with Zala. Are you kidding me? Um, Alright, so... Uh, more sorcerers. Yay. I guess we should do some... You know, attacks. Centaur. That hail of arrows was pretty good for Alco there. Um... Yeah, see, well, I'm casting, like, endgame magic spells on them, and it's only doing, like, 100 damage. These guys are highly resistant. But this should finish them off. Okay. And then it's gotta be in here. Yeah. Alright, good. So we will continue our, uh, our raid next time. Peace.